Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to our MIT Studios video and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix this. So this is the white model glitch or the ghost glitch, I like calling it. So this glitch happens because your materials do not have a texture. Either that texture got deleted or is not properly placed or simply the texture is not stored correctly and what I mean by that I'm going to show you so you just open up your model and you just you find this and yeah you freak out so this is a redo of one of my old tutorials as I forgot an important thing and well I need to fix it so here I am fixing it Anyways, let's get back to let's get back to fixing. So you want uh, you want to open up your model PM exerter if you don't have PM exerter right here in the I card or information card, and you, got, you must go to the material tab and store or and check to see your texture state. Well. Right now, after we clicked in uh, one of those little tab windows right here, uh, you, you can use the arrow keys to navigate and, well, check to see if, you, if your model actually has texture and if your model has no textures at all. Like, there are some materials that require textures, but there are some that not, like this pant button, which does require texture but it's actually not a texture. Well, it does not require a texture because it uses the material color. What is the material color? Well, if we go up here, you can see the diffuse, specular, and ambient. Well, all of those just create a white color. And well, this is why the white glitch happens. If I were to change this to, let's say, red, well, skin would go redder but of course I'm not going to do that because it ruins some colors of the model so leave those leave those as you found them so uh, as I said there are no textures and your materials require texture well, well sometimes the textures get messed up they're not stored properly and what I mean by that they are not stored near the model or near or in a folder near the model. And what I mean by that, I'm going to show you right now. You don't want to have your texture stored in, let's say, a folder on your desktop or just don't store them like this, all right? Store them properly. And right now, I'm making a little rule for everyone to understand. You can store your texture either like this having them next to the model file or your model like this or you can store them in a folder and this is the much more organized way storing them in a folder just because you're not gonna have this jumble mess of files uh, <clears throat> my neck is already gone I've, I've done this through like six times today oh hey and um, I already skipped the day. And yeah, my neck, my neck hurts. Real bad. Anyway, so you have want to have your texture. Textures like this. You know, folder next to the model file. Remember that you cannot have textures in any other folder or in any other location. Besides next to the model file or in a folder next to the model file. Always they need to be in, well, contact and quoting marks, or how do I call that? Anyway, so after you get your textures all set up, well, you should be set, but well, in some cases, this is not happening just because, well, you need to modify them. But here's the thing. If you want, you can leave them like this. 
there's no big deal, but for me, it's a mess and I just don't like it. And well, your model is gonna be fixed. Update. Bam, your model is fixed. And you can leave it like that, call today and save everything. But of course, I wanna place all of them in a folder just so I be so I am more organized. So right here, after I placed all my textures, my model is gonna turn white again. And well, what you're gonna do right now is re reroute, let's say, the textures. And what I mean by that is reopening them, but this time search them in the folder that you just made and you put all of them in in there and update remember click that wait a little your texture should come back hopefully that doesn't crash and you're gonna see right here this little text box modified so it's not only the skin ap it's not only the file but it's also a file path now so in case you have a lot of materials on your model, what you can do is simply copy this little folder name slash and go and copy and paste to every of them. It's much easier than writing or just reopening them. But of course, you need to keep this little file name. So remember, when you're doing this, Always select the first space, paste, select the first space. So not don't, don't do it like this, because there's gonna be an R and we'll know where to search for. So of course something messed up here. Anyway, let let me get those sorted out and I'll right back okay and again you are set your model has the textures and well everything's all right you can go ahead control s save everything and you're good to go but i need to do one thing Actually, a few things. Remember that materials need textures, and well, here's a little tip. When you go into the new PMX version, there's a little edit tab right here. Click on update, and your model will update. And it's kind of like a little refresh. When you do something, and then just hit refresh to check if that little file that you transferred is in there. Everything's all right, and you know, it's a little fresh. Call, 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 call it a little fresh update. <coughs> Jeez. Anyway, so another one. Store your textures properly. Again, you can leave them next to the mall file, like that, like I showed you. You can leave them like this or you can just put them in a folder like this and be more organized either way both both yeah i cannot remember the word both yeah anyway so both anyway so both story methods are good I actually had to think like a few seconds for that one you're gonna see a little pause Anyway, so both story methods are good. They all work and well, yeah, another little thing is the third one. If your model when starting out doesn't have anything in the text box, this means the model R either forgot to add the textures in or well, something got messed up during shipping. And what I mean by that, downloading. You had to unblock the file. There are some computers that still need to unblock files. 
in order to use them properly. It's the thing that annoys me a lot, but hey, it's not my job, Microsoft, fix it. So yeah, it was something got messed up during shipping or the or forgot to add them. Who knows, he might have played when when making the model and after publishing the model he might have played a little and well he forgot to do something and that's something used textures. So what did we learn today? The white glitch or the ghost glitch are missing textures. Store your textures properly. Remember, you are an animator and you are supposed to be organized. Not only because you're supposed to, to find your stuff and well don't spend minutes searching for models, stages, or anything like that. So keep yourself organized. It not only helps your workflow, it also helps your models and also it helps your computer because having files carrying around your computer well it's it may it's quite a mess not only because your hard drive your hard drive might chug up but also it it's overall better to just be organized and don't leave any files carry around your desktop your desk your anything so anyway i really hope you learned something from this because this is the fifth or sixth time i've already lost count that i'm redoing this tutorial in this day and why does this happen every time so yeah i really hope you learned something i really hope you have fix your issue if not feel free to contact me via the comment section and yeah i will respond and try my best to help you if i cannot help you i will direct you to rmd helpers or our videos so yeah i was albert from nt studios thank you for watching bye oh yeah like subscribe all that things greatly appreciate it bye